Hello, my name's Roy Elsey. I'm Chief Analyst at Omdia. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you about now at this time of the year is our trends to watch for 2024. Uh, and this is in the cloud computing space. And I've picked out five trends that I think you're going to notice over the course of 2024 becoming more relevant and more noticeable in the cloud space. The first one is just an observation that cloud is now entering the late majority stage of technology adoption. According to Omdia's research, about 50% of the workloads are running in some form of cloud. That goes even higher if you are more specific on what you include in cloud. So software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service, and hybrid cloud, the figure can be as high as 70%. But generally, we're seeing 50% is where it's been. And it had a big spike during COVID. It dropped back a little bit, but it's continuing to grow. The legacy on-premise is pretty static at about 19 20%. So the legacy workloads aren't really moving anywhere. The older on-premises workloads are beginning to move and they're mainly moving into SaaS, but there is still movement into IaaS and PaaS. The second sort of thing you're gonna see is the rise of digital sovereignty. Uh, this year we've seen AWS and Oracle both announce EU sovereign cloud offerings, as well as a plethora of other offerings. Now, sovereign cloud isn't a single thing, because sovereignty is not just the data's in my country. That's level one, according to the Omdia model. You can have level two, which is the data's in my country, and it's got to be processed in my country. And then you can get to level three, which is the jurisdictional control. So the data's in my country, it's being processed in my country, and it's being processed in accordance with the jurisdictional rules and regulations of my country by citizens of my country. And then four is the resiliency. I'm doing that now, but what happens if I have a disaster? Have I got the same capability to do it somewhere else within country? And then you start moving into the cloud as critical infrastructure, which is more governments rather than enterprises. That's a topic we think is going to account for 10 to 15% potentially of the cloud market. Uh, and it's not just the EU, but it is growing all over the world with a plethora of different data privacy regulations coming out in different countries. So keep an eye out on that one. And as an aside, keep an eye out for uh, AI sovereignty as well. When AI starts to be developed in earnest, you may well find that countries legislate that some of the more sensitive work is only done within the country. The third one is cost optimization. Um, now, the whole benefit of cloud was portrayed as you're not sinking capital expense, you're not doing the heavy lifting, somebody else is doing that for you. But we've now got to the stage where organizations are maturing in their thinking about using cloud and they're looking at ways of how they can optimize the clouds more effectively and more efficiently. And depending on your particular drivers, that's either going to be on a risk base, a cost base, or an environmental base. The fourth one that we see is going to keep rising is the rise of these what we call vertical clouds or industry clouds. Now, these aren't specific dedicated clouds apart from uh, the US government and a couple of other governments that have got that. But these are more an ecosystem of partners where solutions and partners can deliver capabilities to a vertical. So you can find this, you can find like-minded people and you can deliver things within the rules and regulations using the language of your industry. So healthcare, telecom are classic examples. And then 
finally edge edge hasn't gone away it's still there and i think with gen ai you're going to see inferencing at the edge be more of a real thing but edge in its own use case is continuing to grow as the use cases become more uh, prevalent and they demonstrate greater value uh, the challenge for cloud is how they can incorporate the edge how they can stretch to the edge so what we're seeing now is it's not a an edge to core it's a core to edge type of discussion so those are just a sample of my cloud to watch 2024 trends to watch um, you can get more at the omdia website um, you can always find me on LinkedIn. So thank you for listening. Have a good day.